Now the only one is responsible for your safety in Thailand is only you. Now before I start talking about the safety tips that you should follow in order not to spoil your vacation in Thailand, let us start with major point that you should consider before anything and that is staying at the wrong area while visiting Thailand. This is more important than choosing which hotel to stay. Yes, staying in the wrong area will spoil all your vacation, especially if you are visiting Thailand for the first time. So before choosing which hotel to stay, which one is better or affordable, choose the area that you will stay in Thailand and especially in Bangkok. I have made lots of vlogs showing you the most touristic areas and what are the differences between them because it's so important to know. For example, Sukhumvit is so popular area for tourists to stay because it has almost everything you need. But if you don't like super crowded streets, narrow sidewalks, full of pushy vendors, noisy places, nightlife spots full of tourists and bizarre things you don't like to see, then Lower Sukhumvit will be a wrong place for you to stay. The same goes for Patong area in Phuket or Central area in Pattaya. Now how to choose and what's best for you. So easy, know what you are looking for in your vacation, food, nightlife, calm relaxing places or maybe you love the hustle and bustle. After that, choose the best hotel in the area that you are going to stay. In this way, your vacation will be much better, trust me, you don't need surprises in Thailand and the area you stay could be one of them. Now the second thing that could make your vacation worse in Thailand is the transportation. Thailand and especially the capital city Bangkok is the home of traffic and not just a simple traffic. You can spend hours just to pass an intersection in a taxi or in your car without mentioning the chaotic traffic rules in Thailand. So choosing the wrong kind of transportation will make you spend hours and hours on the roads and wasting your valuable time. Now fortunately in Bangkok you have many types of transportations, from cars to tuk-tuks, motorbikes, boat taxis and much more. But the best one is the public transportation, the trains, BTS, MRT, the airport link. So knowing about these ways of transportations and using them will save you a lot of money and time. Why to get stuck in a taxi when you have all these options? So when you are in Thailand, always choose the best way of transportation when you are exploring around. And don't forget, sometimes walking from one place to another using the skywalks will be the wisest thing you do. Because you might spend one hour in any kind of transportation instead of walking 5 minutes. Keep the Google Maps always on and use your time wisely. Here we come to the third point and that is visiting in the wrong season. I don't mean high or low season, I mean where to visit in Thailand and choose the right season, North, South or Central Thailand. Now of course visiting Thailand in the high season will save a lot of troubles for you. But as I always said in my vlogs, it's good to visit no matter what season it is. But choosing where to visit in Thailand is the mission. For example, in the rainy season, being in Bangkok will not be a big problem. It rains, the weather is crazy, so what? You have the malls, the markets, indoor activities, let it rain. Couple of hours and everything will be okay. But let's say you are at the south, 
want to enjoy the sun at the shores, the boat trips, the islands, here things are different. So you are under the mercy of the weather. If you are lucky, then you will do everything and have all the activities. And of course, save a lot because it's low season. But if not, you will spend your time at the hotel and wait till the weather gives you a break. Sometimes it rains for hours, sometimes for days, and sometimes the weather is better than the high season. So choosing carefully where to be in Thailand according to the season will be a wise thing. Here we come to the main topic of today's vlog and as I said, the only person responsible for your safety in Thailand is you, no one else. What I mean by that? Is Thailand safe? The answer is yes. Is it okay to have a vacation? Again yes. But why you are responsible for your safety? Let's talk about it. Now I've been living in Thailand for more than a decade and through all these years as a travel vlogger I've experienced almost everything and thanks God till now nothing bad happened to me and I consider Thailand one of the safest places to live in this world. But on the other hand if you don't follow the safety tips or use all your senses to keep safe then you are in a trouble. Doing any activity in Thailand from the simplest tasks, walking, roaming around, biking, running, boat trips, using the elevator, electric stairs, anything you can do or not, you must be very cautious, extra cautious. My advice to you, if you see any activity that you are not sure it's safe, don't do it. No need for risk. If you are walking on the roads, use your all senses. Don't get distracted with your phone or surroundings. Things can pop up in front of you or under your feet. You have to be very careful. Usually all the troubles can happen due to very small details. And you might think it's okay, but it's not. I see and experience those things daily, even I am living here for a long time. And many times, I am lucky not to hurt myself. But why to leave things on luck? Be careful. Now many of us come to Thailand to enjoy everything available. From the culture, food, nightlife, the activities, the islands, the massage sessions and much more. But without organizing our plans and doing things properly, in other words, going extreme in the things we love, especially the nightlife and the activities, could also worsen our vacation. Of course you are traveling to have fun. But choosing what to do daily and finding balance between your preferred activities will be a very wise thing in Thailand. If not, you can drain your energy, get tired, sick and maybe more. So choosing what to eat, what to do, how much to party, how to manage your trips, your activities, what time to go out and what time to avoid according to the weather will make things smoother. And trust me, everything will be more fun. So don't go extreme and find time to relax and recharge your batteries. Now the last thing I want to mention is getting involved with things that you should not in anything you are doing in Thailand. 
Remember, you are here in a vacation and not looking for troubles. So respecting the culture, the rules, and avoiding all the things that you should not do will make your vacation beautiful in Thailand. I have made lots of vlogs about things to do and not to do in Thailand and the purpose was to make people aware from things that could spoil their vacation. So my friends, by following these simple tips and avoiding some mistakes can make your vacation wonderful in the land of smiles. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.